Hello everyone, welcome back to what is this game that we're playing? It's Doom. Uh, yes, we stopped halfway through this level where we were running around with a chainsaw because we're insane slightly. Let's check the map, see how far we've got. I think all we need to do right now is to go back to that other place. We need to go over there, but there's a, a thing over here we've not explored, so we'll do that. Let's make sure we're full on ammo, not that we're using any of it. Nah. You can use the uh, chainsaw as a bullet-free, a bullet-saving way of um, waking up anything that is going to wake up as a result of you firing. I mean, it does make a noise. Chainsaws do make noise. That is true. Um, you can also use your fist. Uh, there is no... The actual trigger for things that wake up uh, is whether you've actually you know, fired at all, not whether you've fired a noisy weapon, which is interesting. So filled in that bit of the map. I think we now just go down here and sort out the bit. This is where we died the first time, so we're not going to make that mistake again, are we? No. Good. Well done. No, sir. Three bikes full, sir. At some point, we're going to probably want to actually use ammunition to deal with some of these bad guys. But these baddies, these enemies. Might have to make some noise. Uh, oh, I remember. Whoa! You were very quiet. Um, I was going to say I remember there's a Kakadim around here, and then lo and behold, Yon Kakadim shows up. Don't even have to uh, particularly talk about it too much. Okie dokie, now we've made some noise. So this is a yellow door in this direction, but not in the other direction. Uh, in, in, like, back through here. So if we go in here, we can't open it without finding the yellow key once we've gone in there. Do you think, um, do you think enemies can open doors without the key? One then. Now it is possible to create a line that enemies can't cross. And I was temporarily wondering whether that was such a thing, but they did they did come and get me. So there's the spoilers, but that's a fake exit, and I remember that much. Uh, and also, this is probably not somewhere I'm gonna be particularly pleased to be for too long. These things are slightly translucent. Is that on purpose? Okay. I mean it's hard for it to be accidental, right? But uh, I guess that wasn't really what I meant. I'm not quite sure what I did mean. Well, that's invisibility, but not invincibility. We're going to have to... Ooh, did you hear that? Yeah, they can open doors. I was going to say we're going to have to make a little bit of noise using the uh, plasma gun temporarily here. Ooh, that hurt. But we haven't got around to that bit yet, because... The reason I was going to use a plasma gun is that I'm very much expecting that the invisibility there is a trap, and if it isn't a trap, then I obviously know nothing about video gaming, and I should not be recording. I mean, we could just shoot it. Come on, it. It's lazy using the same sounds for everything. So, I kind of need to go on here, so we will use the noisy gun. Still hit me, despite me being... Partially invisible. Not actually as bad as I expected it to be. I may have raised my voice unnecessarily just now because it's loud for me. Uh, even if it's not loud for you after post processing. Okay, good. Uh, we are partially invisible, which actually looks worse in this open GL version than it did in the original version where it did this sort of weird. Um, I will Partial take another one, sure. And a light so we can see where we're going. Um, not a light, a visor. Because in the original one, it had this sort of. Drifty effects. Kind of hard to describe. Uh, I guess if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I feel like it's an adequate description as long as you don't need me to describe it. Um, sort of a, a rain effect where the what's behind you is obscured by uh, a very low budget, low computing power. Come on then. I know you're in there. Um, sort of... Uh, Drifty effect. I'm not sure what triggers the. Uh... You know what? Have this. Don't aim upwards. It's not helping anybody. What was I saying? I don't know what triggers the crusher in here. So I'm reluctant to uh, actually <laughs> tempt fate in that regard. We found the yellow key, so we're okay with that. Look. Part of me wants to just. Oh, I've only got seven ammo for that. Well. Oh. 
That was a bad dodge, but that's okay. I think we basically dealt with that as best we could. This time we didn't just charge in. Uh, no guns blazing like we did last time and die. Oh, that's going faster than I thought it would be. Do we have to time this? No. We have plenty of time, don't worry. We might not even close. There are very few things that this engine can do, but one of them is not closing when you don't need to. Right, so this goes away. What do we use to solve this problem? I don't know. HP, I guess. Soul Slayer, that's what we use to solve this problem. We avoid the problem by having so much health, it's not a problem anymore. This would be a great time to still have the invincibility from the other one. That one shot through that one because it died at just the right time. I'm hoping that Doom 2016 has better collision. Obviously, <laughs> it's a very old game, and it's a bit rich to complain about collision problems in uh, a game from 1992 or whatever we decided it was. I'm going to. The secret is revealed, but it was just a door. What are you talking about? Okay. So that was a secret, that was a secret. That whole room down there was a secret. So now there's just that one thing over there where there are several coloured doors in a row, and I believe that's the real exit. I thought there was a baddie for me to shoot, but there wasn't. Anything that looks like it needs to be opened? Yes, two things. And then we're done on this level. Finally, without dying this time. In fact, we got better off because we did take a soul sphere at 50% health. Took us up to 100%. It's called a supercharge. Actually, the, the the word says supercharge when you pick it up, but the man says soul sphere. I think we... Secret, no? Nope, just a chainsaw that isn't worth considering a secret. Love that they just don't hurt you when you're doing this. Soon. And then we finish this off. Yeah, finally didn't die for once. It was bad. Plus, it's a bit, um, a bit obscure that they take either no damage or all damage. Again, that's one of the things I'm expecting to be, I don't say addressed, but it's not like it was a problem in the early game, right? It's not in 1990 people were going, well, if only this game could do this, that, and the other. We just hadn't thought of it. Maybe we had thought of it, but we were thinking it's not worth the effort. I don't know. Uh, incidentally, 99? Oh, come on. Maybe I had to pick up the chainsaw. I don't know. Uh, incidentally, I am using a newer version of OBS to record this, so if the quality is not up to scratch, uh, please forgive me if I act a little strange, but it's entirely possible that I've misdone settings and I could do better. It's entirely possible that I can't do better. For a while, I didn't really use OBS Studio because... OBS itself was working fine for me. Uh, but I thought I'd give it another shot. Because it's actually slightly um, supported. Here we go. Yeah, this is what you want to do in this game. You want to get invulnerability. And beat the shit out of a Baron of Hell or a Hell Knight. With a chainsaw. And quickly before it runs out of me, please. Because that's going to save me basically all of my ammunition from now until forever. So if I can get all of this done without actually using any ammo at all, of course the uh, chainsaw doesn't have fuel or anything. Knowing modern game developers, they'll force me to use fuel to do that in 2016, so we're going to make the most of that right now. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, bad noises. Fairly sure these floors hurt. They did in a previous level. But, uh, yeah. It, there's a lot of things that you notice that now that you've got some perspective from a, a very sort of, uh, mature, developed uh, video game industry perspective, you're going, you know, this game could be so much better in so many ways. Uh, but, honestly, yeah, it could be but not with the 1992 technology that you're looking at. So hopefully we get uh, even more of an improvement on Doom than we got from Doom 3. Which itself was an improvement. It's hard to imagine that it wasn't. I don't think anyone's pretending that Doom 3 was not 
in many ways an improvement on the original Doom. Possibly one of those ways was not... Uh, uh, I don't know what people have, basically. I don't know what qualms people have with the old Doom 3, because obviously, as I've mentioned many times before, I quite liked it. I thought it was a good improvement on the original Doom, and it didn't really follow many of the original themes, which is true. But I, I feel like it worked, reworked them, basically. It was a new take on themes that didn't really need maintaining. It's not like the Half-Life 2 to Half-Life distinction where, or, or, or similarity. Half-Life is already a reasonably mature game in itself. Okay, that's not very friendly. Um, and when Half-Life 2 came along, we were all very happy that many of the aesthetic choices, many of the memes from the original Half-Life were maintained so it felt like we were just playing an updated version of the same game in Doom 3. We didn't need any of that because it was so completely different. Come on. Why? It interests me why that would happen because it kind of implies a trap but I see no trap. I'm happy to continue. Chainsaw in these demons. Uh, yeah, so I don't really necessarily feel that we gained, we lost anything. I think we gained a lot in Doom 3 and we didn't really lose anything. Oh, we could have got a Berserk look, that would have been fun. Let's get it now. There's still time. Where are you? For example, when you pick up Berserk in Doom 3, it's extremely entertaining. When you pick up a Berserk in even a OpenGL version of Doom, well, 1, it's not very entertaining. However, running around with Berserk and Invincibility is always entertaining. Until you find yourself in the middle of a shitstorm of enemies and your invincibility runs out. Yeah, like that, thank you. Well demonstrated, that man. So I'm hoping that Doom 2016... Uh, I've seen footage and I am pleased that it actually does stick to some of the original themes, as much as I was saying that it doesn't need to. Um, there are... There's nostalgia there. I think that's what helped with Half-Life 2, is that it, it kept... Oh, that was really fun. It kept the nostalgic parts of it without... Uh, you know, without being constrained by them. Is there any point in this place? No. No, no point in this place. Uh... Similarly, I'm hoping that Doom 2016 has some nostalgic elements of Doom and Doom 2, but doesn't feel constrained by having to have these, you know, pseudo flat rooms and things like this. Obviously, we're going to expect a lot more than uh, flat rooms from a game like Doom 2016, but I'm wondering whether one of the things we get will be uh, progressive damage on enemies, for example. When you throw a <laughs> a rocket in the face of a Hell Knight, kind of expect a bit to fall off, maybe. That would be nice. That just looks weird, but okay. Some, uh, some more uh, vertical axis usage is going to be very well looked forward to, and hopefully they also manage to keep some of the themes from Doom 3, because a lot of those themes were still pretty good, even though many people didn't like them. Uh, in as much as they really played with the the descent into insanity in the aesthetic of the, the levels as we went through. As I've been mentioning in this one, trying to sort of reverse apply the knowledge from Doom 3 into Doom 1 and going, yes, this looks like a part of a hellscape and this one looks like a, a facility of some description. It's basically all I get to say about these Doom levels, whereas in Doom 3 it really rubbed into your face that as you went through the game, more and more parts of your m Mars base, or say Moon base, uh, Mars base became overtaken sort of irreparably by hellish creep. That's what we like to see, that's where I want it to be. So that was very interesting. I really like that part of the level because it feels like Z-axis work even though there isn't any. No red key. 
That message appears there. Other messages choose not to. And I guess we go in here and find out what's all the spawning about. Come on then, Savia. The secret is revealed. Because I know now that if I go through here, I'm going to get attacked by this Joker. Is it loud? I apologise. <laughs> Just keep going. I don't even know if I'm hitting it. Let's do this. Come on, then. I'll fight your legs off. No? Nobody? Haha, <laughs> got you. Is that it? Could be it. Not quite it. Can't help but notice I've still got a uh, unused seven on my uh, on my weapons readout, which is saddening to me because I know what goes in the seventh slot. I wonder what they're going to do with the BFG in 2017, uh, 2016. I really like the BFG in Quake 2. Call me crazy. And if you haven't played it, I am tempted to play it myself on the channel. But it was quite novel, I guess, is the way I would suggest. Because um, in original Doom... Oh, hello. That's what we're looking for. Wow, that's loud. It makes me jump when I find a secret, which is not fair. I'm firing to try and wake anything up that is going to be woken up by firing, but that is no things, apparently. Nice to get this uh, plasma gun, though. Um, yeah, it is novel. Because it fires out a ball of light, as you'd expect from the BFG, but it attacks enemies by... Yeah, I <laughs> held my breath so that I didn't get scared by the other secret that we found. Um, setting out beams of light from this ball to sort of burn them slowly. Chain gun, no. Let's um, figure out where to go next, shall we? Because I would like to find the actual red key, if it's not too much trouble. Oh, we do have a yellow key, and I see a yellow door, so we want to go... All the way back through that room. Good grief. Uh, oh, it was... Lame. So that was... This way. Round the corner. Up through the blue door. Between these, which have a weird layout. Seeing these uh, layouts where they've had to cram bits of the level into other bits of the level is quite nostalgic because I've had to do exactly the same thing myself. Hello. Ow. Please. I knew you were there, but I didn't do anything about it. Uh, having to not overlap parts because you're not allowed to, you end up with some very strange shaped rooms because you want to fit them in between the rooms whose shapes you've already decided on. Especially since you're constrained by certain things like the positions of teleporters have to line up to the grid. The positions of, uh, well, the sizes of doors are basically fixed because they couldn't scale the textures. Excuse me. Did not invite your attention. I was down here. More R. Solden. I'd very much like to find a BFG to play with it a little bit. We want to, we want to have the BFG. Featured on the show before we go. Can't get through there, excuse me. Burr pin, it's very rude. Oh, jeez. Uh, it'd be wrong to jump into Doom 2016 without having to go on the BFG of the very original Doom of the very first place. And now I'm pretty sure we find it uh, before the end of Act 3, because Act 3 is where the original Doom ended. Okay, there's a red key. Trap? Not trap. Barrels explode. Ah, uh, but, I mean... What is this room for? Some sort of mission control? Uh, yeah. Somewhere between now and the end of the original three acts will be a BFG, so we'll be playing with that. No doubt. Uh, but also... We would like to... Probably opens that, right? Uh, we would like to... 
am I saying even? What am I saying? Basically, there will be BFG. Don't you worry. So we probably want to go to find the secret exit, which is what I'm assuming is this other one in here. But it could just be a, an item, so we'll have a look. It's going to hurt a bit. Uh, okay. It's a permanent switch, so whatever it changed is going to remain changed until we find it. There was no BFG in Quake itself. What is this? Probably John Romero's eyeballs. Where do you think that was? Where might it have been? Where is their room? What a strange situation. Unless it's like behind this. That would be interesting. I'm sure you could do it. You could have the exit switch on a door, and the door is opened by another switch, such that if you don't find a way of opening the exit door, you um have to go through it. If you do find a way of opening the exit door... How long are we on? 21 minutes. Cool. Uh, if you do find a way of opening the exit door, then uh, you don't see the exit switch. You go underneath the exit switch and find another thing, maybe a secret exit. So the secret exit would be behind the real exit. You ever think of that, huh, id? Go back and retrofit that into your game, if you don't mind, because I thought of it and it's very smart. I'm wandering around wondering, wondering what the hell that thing did. <laughs> Ammo is fine too. Not really necessary. Uh, I guess we still want to get in there somehow. Oh, that, uh, okay. I understand. That, you bastard. You bastard, Kev. Uh, how do we get into that bit? I've forgotten already. All the way back round? Maybe. Yeah, we need to go up there. Oh, lame. I will do it because it seems correct, not because it's entertaining or anything to see me running around the same level that we've seen a million times. I mean, look at these walls. They're all red, glowy rock. They must be made of hell stuff. But they're encroaching upon... Ooh. That was loud. Thank you. Uh, they're encroaching upon... I should have picked up HP before I picked that up. I didn't realise. Uh, they're encroaching upon a military base with very specific aesthetic tastes. On Mars with Earth gravity. Uh, it's not in here. It's up the next set of steps. I see a switch. Is that a switch? That's not a switch. One armour is very helpful. Thank you. It's not quite a... Uh, HP or <clears throat> it's not quite the level of a soul spear. Soul spear, that's for sure. Okie dokie. I see a hole here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Secret? No. No big noises to scare us this time. Right. We've got everything. Let's go. Gordon Bennett. What a palaver. Struth. Come on then. How fast can you run? Expect Doom 2016 to be bigger as well, just in a in a scale sort of sense, not in a not in a length of game sort of way. Although I kind of expect that too. Uh, mostly, I just expect there to be more stuff. How do we do? 100% kills, not all the secrets. Don't really care. It took us 16 minutes. Thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Leave uh, a like, which helps me, and subscribe, which helps you. And I hope that you will join me in the next episode. But until then, I will see you.